Now at 11, a new strategy to fight the coronavirus. President Joe Biden is pushing two thirds of American workers to roll up their sleeves and get the shot. The move is all part of the president's six step plan. Now all private employers with more than 100 employees must mandate vaccines. Those who don't get the shot will have to get tested weekly. There are also more stringent rules for federal workers and contractors who do business with the federal government. They all must be vaccinated and do not have the option to be regularly tested to opt out of the requirement. The president calling this a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Despite the fact that for almost five months, free vaccines have been available in 80,000 different locations, we still have nearly 80 million Americans who have failed to get the shot. WCPO 9 News reporter Kendria LaFleur is looking into what this means for you legally if you fall into the category, especially for those who say they're still hesitant about the shot. According to an Interact for Health poll, there are more people who are vaccinated compared to those who are not in Cincinnati. Nearly one in five say they won't get the vaccine. But if they work at one of those larger corporations or the federal government, they won't have a choice. And that has people talking. And I think if people can't be taking care of that themselves, then it does need to be mandated. Now they're being trying to be forced to take the vaccine or they won't have a job. That's pretty sad. People gave Interact for Health several reasons for not wanting the vaccine. 72% said they want to confirm that the vaccine is safe. 62, 64% said they're concerned about side effects from vaccination. And 64% said they were concerned about the timeline for the vaccine development. Employment and labor attorney Kelly Myers says she expects to see more lawsuits from employees who refuse the vaccine. But she says mandates and companies are legal. Even without the president's order, Ohio, Kentucky and Indiana are all at will employment states. The employment at will doctrine says is that an employer can set the terms and conditions of employment that it sees fit up to and including termination. The law doesn't give employees much choice. Employer can say, if you want to continue to work here or continue to come into the office, you need to be vaccinated. She also noted that you won't get unemployment benefits if you're fired for not getting the vaccine because you're refusing a company's policy. Reporting in Cincinnati, Kendra LaFleur, WCPO 9 News.